Imagine living with tiny little creatures that can give you so much pain and suffering that you have no option but to live in fear. Imagine an era where you could find venomous scorpions creeping under your blanket, asps hiding in clay jars, and rats spoiled most of the stored grains. Would that life be inviting? It was in that time in ancient Egypt that one creature existed that could make all troubles go away, cats. The history of Egypt is very closely connected with cats because it is believed that it was the Egyptians who first domesticated these animals, and their importance in the life of the country was simply enormous. In addition, some researchers believe that the domestic cat in general first appeared in ancient Egypt, as a result of crossing the jungle cat, also called the reed cat, and Euro-African wild cats. In general, the history of Egyptian cats begins in the second millennium BC, the oldest image of domestic cats that was found dates back to this time. The reason why these unique animals have taken such an important place in the history of Egypt is simple, this state has been agrarian from time immemorial, and it was cats that could save its crops from rodents. However, cats in the history of Egypt were not only guardians of grain, but also hunters. They were specially trained so that they could hunt game birds, and in addition, these animals successfully hunted small rodents, moles, and sometimes even hares. But in general, cats were considered the good geniuses of any Egyptian dwelling and the true keepers of the hearth, and when a cat died a natural death, mourning was declared in the house, and all its inhabitants cut off their hair and eyebrows. Cats were buried only in special cemeteries and with special honors, the mummies of these animals were also found in some tombs of the pharaohs. At the same time, the Egyptians throughout their history not only exploited cats but also worshipped them. In Lower Egypt, the oldest burial place of cats was found, Babustus, where the cult of these animals was widespread. In its center is the Egyptian goddess Bast, Batet, who was depicted with a cat's head. Also, not only Bast, the goddess symbolizing love, happiness, and childbearing, is associated with the cult of cats in Egypt, but also the great sun god Are himself, who was often depicted in the form of a red cat. At the same time, cats in Egypt never lived where they had to. A special temple was created for them, in its center, again, the goddess of cats in Egypt, and caring for these animals was considered one of the most honorable services in the state, so only priests could most often look after cats, and this great mission was proud passed down from father to son. However, the worship of the Egyptians to cats did not always bring them only joy. In 525 BC, Cambyses, the Persian king, who conquered the country with the help of cats, insidiously played on Egypt's love for these animals. He simply ordered to distribute to each warrior one cat, which was tied to shields, and as a result, the Egyptians surrendered virtually without a fight, because they could not fight the enemy, on whose shield the unfortunate cat wriggled. In Egypt itself, cats were protected at the level of the law, and their importance was so great that for the deliberate killing of an animal, the culprit was subject to the death penalty, and for unintentional killing, huge fines. Are you thinking about getting a cat? Let us know what you decide in the comments below. And if you know someone who's thinking about getting a cat, please share this with them. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Otherwise, have a great day. Thanks for watching.